Today's Bible study is titled, Until Christ Be Formed in You. In our last reading, Paul asked the Galatian believers who had been subjected to some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Where is then the blessedness ye spake of? In other words, had the some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, Galatians 1, seven, robbed them of the blessings of God's grace? And we noted that by this question, we had to assume that being robbed of the blessings of the gospel of grace was quite possible. The reason for such mist of blessings, for those that pursue the conditions of the earthly kingdom gospel with its new covenant law implications, was the incorporation of works of the flesh into the gospel of grace. Works of the law are works of the flesh in this dispensation of the grace of God. With this as preface, Paul continues today, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They zealously affect you, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you, that ye might affect them. But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you, I desire to be present with you now and to change my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. Galatians 4, 16-20 Let's take a closer look. Paul asks the Galatian believers yet another question as regards their listening to another gospel, which is not another. Galatians 1, 6-7 saying, Am I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth, and this is not an uncommon thing to happen, as sharing the rightly divided message of truth that Paul was instructed to share with us, Romans Philemon, will often cause loss of friendship with those who follow the teachings of the gospel of the kingdom. Given this question, Paul turns to point out the impact of the kingdom gospel followers who had troubled the Galatian believers, contrary to the Jerusalem Council Accord. He says of them that they zealously affect you, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you that ye might affect them. This is to show that the zeal of these who troubled the Galatians was likewise making them zealous but not as according to the truth that Paul had shared. Quite the contrary, the zeal instructed of the kingdom gospel followers was to be zealous of the law, just as James, the Lord's half-brother, noted long after the conclusion of Israel in unbelief, saying, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. Acts 21, 20. Paul follows this misdirected zeal statement, noting, But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing. And that good thing is what Paul preached as the power to establish you according to my gospel, Romans 16.25, which we know to be the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16.25, And Paul also points out that this correct zeal should be not only when I am present with you, indicating that the Galatian believers had not been troubled when he was with them and should not be now that he was not. Next, Paul makes a statement regarding the confused Galatian believers, calling them my little children, either a statement of affection or of their childish, confused belief and behavior. And he continues that of the Galatian believers of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. This shows the intense concern, desire on the par of the apostle to struggle as with pains of birth until the Galatians were returned to the rightly divided message of grace upon which he founded them. Because of this desire on the part of the apostle he shares, I desire to be present with you now and to change my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. The tone of Galatians is one of stern correction. 
because Paul had his doubts as to whether the Galatian believers would return to the power to establish you according to my gospel, and thus his desire to be present with you now, Wupa, in order to correct the teaching of the some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, Galatians 1, 7. Believer, understand the importance of believing the sound doctrine which Christ instructed Paul to teach, Romans through Philemon, and avail yourself of the power to establish you according to my gospel, so that Christ is formed in you. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.